In this guide, we are going to learn about the initial step in flooring, generally known as compacted earth. The initial steps to have a good concrete floor is to have a well compacted ground. It is very important to have a hard and firm ground for a pavement to withstand any kind of stresses. Proper compaction will prevent settlement of the soil and unnecessary maintenance costs or structure failure. There are three main reasons to compact soil. It increases load-bearing capacity to prevent soil settlement and improves soil stability. It reduces water seepage, swelling and contraction of soil. The ground should be stabilized with good soil. If backfilling is required, the material used is usually muram. The clay contents should not be more than 10%. Ensure soil characteristics provide a dense and an evenly mass of soil. Preferably, top 300 mm should be removed and replaced with good soil. Depth of loosely spread soil should not exceed 250 mm. Soil should be compacted in layers. Static rollers should be made to have a minimum of 5 passes over each strip. Heavy compaction might be harmful as it might destroy internal structure of soil. Rolling should continue till the surface behaves like elastic mass and is dense and even. Each strip should be overlapped by one third width. The soil should be compacted a minimum 95%. The density of the compaction can be measured using the dry density method test. Dry density method. Place the dolly over the core cutter and hammer the core cutter into the soil. Remove the soil surrounding the core cutter and take out the core cutter. Ensure soil inside the cutter is not disturbed. Clean the top and bottom surfaces and weigh the core cutter filled with the soil to the nearest gram, M2. Mass of soil equals M2. Soil with cutter, minus M1, cutter weight. Density equals mass M soil, volume. Construction of sub-base course. A GSP course is laid in between the ground and the base course. This will serve an effective drainage for water to the drain. It will also serve as a structural component, distributing the wheel load through the surface course and granular course. Material used for GSB layer are crushed stone aggregates, gravel, coarse sand, crushed slag, or artificial soft aggregates. The thickness should not be less than 100 mm, with maximum 200 mm, when compacted. The most important consideration of GSB is gradation. It should match Morth specifications. First of Table 400 lists various types of gradations. The particle size varies between 23.5 mm and fines of 0.075 mm. For maximum base stability, the granular base should have sufficient fines to just fill the voids, and the entire gradation should be close to its maximum density. The material should have a 10% fines value. However, while base density is maximized at fines content between 6 and 20 percent, load carrying capacity decreases when the fines content exceeds about 9 percent. Stability also increases with the percentage of crushed particles and increasing cost aggregate size. The particles should have sufficient strength to resist degradation or breakdown during construction, under compaction or under traffic. Since the granular subbase provides drainage for the pavement structure, its grading and hydraulic conductivity are important. The fines content is usually limited to a maximum of 10% for normal pavement construction. The presence of plastic fines can significantly reduce the load carrying strength of the granular base and subbase. Stabilization of subbase Ensure moisture content to produce dense compacted layer. The final surface should be well closed, well compacted, and free from any movement. Three tests per 1000 square meter to be performed.